Ivan, thank you. CBS News Miami is celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. We're getting personal with the star of VH1's reality TV show, Love and Hip Hop Miami. Her name is Diana de los Santos. She also has a distinct stage name. The Dominican American star and Miami native sat down with CBS News Miami's executive producer, Impacting Communities, Tanya Francois, to share why her heritage means so much to her. Amara La Negra is a Latin reality and former child star, and as I found out, there's so much more to her than the person you see on TV. Afro-Latina actress and hip-hop star Amara La Negra has a new song she's singing. Elida, siéntate. In between the siéntate. 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 Amara La Negra's latest hit is a simple twinkle, twinkle little star. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. The reality show star, performer, and now mom of two also has a thing for names. Exhibit A, her 17-month-old twins. Their names are Su Majestad Royalty and Su Alteza Empress, which means Your Majesty and Your Highness. Amara La Negra was born in Miami to Dominican parents. Her mother came to America crossing the Mexican border. An only child, her career in show business started when she was just a couple of years older than her daughters are now. I started when I was four years old in Salo Gigante, a very well-known TV show for the Latino community. I was there for six years every Saturday. It was an amazing platform for me to grow in. Despite early stardom, growing up in South Florida has had its challenges. I, I was homeless in Homestead. Um, by um, I used to live in this community called Waterstone by Speedway. And I would park in front of the McDonald's or the Walmart close to Florida City. I would bathe with wipes in the bathrooms. It was literal and figurative hunger that helped her gain success. She was born Diana de los Santos, but it's the meaning behind the stage name she gave herself that explains her rise and her platform. Originally, it was because nobody would remember my name. So they would be like, what's the black girl's name? What's La Negrita's name? What, what, what? And then it just stayed like La Negra. And then uh, years after, you know, everyone kept telling me, oh, take La Negra off. It sounds racist. It sounds this. And I was like, it doesn't sound racist to me at all. I love to be called black. I, I enjoy when people say that my melanin and my blackness is beautiful. La Negra is working a lot these days. When not with her twins, she's on a host of Spanish language shows, including the Spanish version of Dancing with the Stars and most famously, Love and Hip Hop Miami. I'm a single mom taking care of my family and I am doing everything I can to promote my brand and to bring in money. When she's not on TV, Amara also dabbles in real estate and she has a cosmetic line. Her motivation, she says, are her family in those days of homelessness and hunger. I just grew up with my mother. I think that also that isolation made me become even more focused and more driven with my goals and my visions in life. And I just want them to know that anything in life is possible as long as you focus, you concentrate, you sacrifice. I asked Mamara La Negra what's the message she hopes to share and one day pass on to her daughters. She said it's that their mother is a warrior, a fighter, and one tough cookie. In the studios, Tanya Francois, CBS News, Miami.